Hey guys, it's Rich. I wanted to show you, I made some of these solar ovens I've been seeing on uh, like YouTube and Facebook. Somebody took the idea of the solar tube, vacuum tube, and made a, a tray and you put food in and cook it. So I thought I'd make one. I checked them online and they were like, uh, they want $350 and it's just a holder with a cap. So I made a couple here and you know, they just have a tray for food and I have a thermometer in here right now and it's at like 230 degrees and it's like in the 30s right now and this bottom one I got some potatoes and onions and stuff I'm gonna try to cook them but we'll let them cook for a few hours and see how it turns out but I'll show you how I made it in case uh, anybody wants to mess around with it Okay, here's what I used to make my base. Uh, two of these, um, these are electrical uh, cover plates, which you put lights on, and two two-inch PVC with threads in them. And what happens is, I found that these will thread right into right into your um, your base here. Once you got them threaded, I pre-drilled a hole and put a screw in there. You just stick that in there. And, uh, put your other screw in here. Once you get your end cap in there, you can take your tube and stick it right into there. And take your front tube. Put it on there. And just put your screws in there. For my reflector here, that just fits... You know, behind there, or you can adjust it for whichever way you you put it. I just used um, this was an old cardboard tube, and I cut it in half. And I have these. I found these sticker, reflective sticker stuff. I don't I don't remember where I got these. Probably some yard sale or something. But just to stick on there, I mean, you can buy that stuff. But just make a cheap reflector, and it works good. Okay, here's how I made my um, this tray. So you can set your food in and stuff, it's aluminum. What I did, um, I looked around my junk and I found this is a, we had a patio umbrella, messed up, but it's just about the right size. So I just cut it and uh, got it on a vise and I put some duct tape, just lined it up right here and I'm just going to take a jigsaw with a metal blade and cut right up there. Okay, now that you got this, and there you have your tray, and just take a file and file this off so you know, cut yourself. Okay, another thing I did is just cut you a little notch right there so you can bend that up for the hand. Now to get the uh, my end of it like this, I just cut slots in it and just take uh, pliers and just bend it up. Now to put my handle on, all I did is, uh, see I took that piece that was, and just bent it up. Drilled a couple holes in it, and I just uh, screwed it to this piece of wood here. And this wood is almost perfect to fit in there. I took a grinder and uh, just smoothed it off a little bit. And it uh, fits right in there snug. So very cool. She's ready to go. Okay, I'm going to do a little test here this morning. It's 33 degrees out, and I put some... Um, frozen fish sticks in, uh, in this tube here and it's been in for an hour let's see what it Ooh, I can feel heat already let's see what it looks like oh no steaming mm, smells good temperatures at yeah, you gonna be able to see that but it's 250 degrees so we'll take them out and look at them here we brought it in. After an hour, look at them. They're all golden crispy. I have one here. Ow, it's hot. We'll try it. Mmm. Harmony might try a little one. Good? Mmm. Alright. 
Let's call after only an hour. We'll try some other stuff here. Now, one of the most important things about dealing with these uh, tubes is they have a, the tip on the end. You break that tip, your tube is history. So you need to protect it. So that's why I like to stick it in here. You can put some foam in there. Make sure you put some kind of cap on it. And down here, I just use the it's just the paint cap, and I just taped it all up here. So that way, you have no chance of hitting that tip because you break it off. You just say goodbye to the tube; it shatters. I ran out of sun, so I had to bring it back down here. But let's look at see what's going on here. It is steaming. Brother, that smells good. Let me try a little bit of one. Ouch! That's hot. So I think that went good. It smells so good. I tend not to eat it. So really, you can make yourself one of these for less than 20 bucks. I really didn't have to buy anything. I already had the tubes from uh, from when I tested before, but I bought the tubes. I bought ten of them for a hundred dollars for free shipping off of eBay. So really, that's less than ten bucks a piece if you include slick shipping. And this, I just made. You know, I just made these, but you could just you could just put your food straight down the tube, and uh, and you just wash it out afterwards, or you could use a you know cooking bags or. Um, just foil, roll some foil up and, and shove it down in there. It cooks really good. You can also, uh, I hope you can still see it, but you can stand it up and cook or boil water, whatever you want. If you made your stand, we are good. So, uh, I'm not done with this. I got some more ideas. I'm going to experiment with a couple more since I have some tubes. But if you decide to do one, if you have any questions, just uh, give me a comment. And, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.